Chapter 17, Danger in the Field, Part 1. You are so good, Jesus, thought Pearl. It's nice and quiet here, just you and me. I'm so glad we can all rest. I think I'll lie back and watch the sunlight and listen to the water. She rolled up her blanket and put it behind her head for a pillow. The breeze was gentle and the sound of the water was soothing. The leaves are gorgeous, Daddy got, she thought. She imagined lovely waterfalls and sunsets. Thank you for making fall. It's my favorite season. I think I'll take a nap while they do. Vivachi barked. Ruff! What is she doing outside? Pearl thought. Watchman barked too, and Pearl thought she heard the back door shut. Hmm. I wonder if Queen Mother didn't rest long. Maybe she needs me and she's coming out. Or maybe it's Zai and she can join me. Pearl sat up excited, but didn't see anyone. Maybe I imagined it, she thought, and laid back down. But then she heard a noise. She looked up the back of her treehouse and could see her uncle in the field with the horses, but they all seemed calm. Maybe it's the bulls and cows or something, she thought. She looked at the pen closest to her and could see the huge bull grazing. There were several cows and the white cow birds riding some of their backs. She laid back down. I'm not going to worry about it. Her eyes shut, and then she heard Watchman bark again, a deep bark. Then a, she heard another noise, but it sounded like a voice this time. Jesus, please open my eyes, she said out loud. If it works for Queen Mother, I know it will work for me, she thought. Help me to see, please. She pulled back some limbs and leaves and looked out the south side of her treehouse. There, kicking and hitting the gate to the bullpen, was Robert. Watchman was beside him, moving around. I should have locked the door, Pearl thought. Stop, Robert, she shouted at him, but he didn't seem to hear. Brat, she thought. He's always making trouble for me. I'm going to get Queen Mother. She rushed down the ladder and shouted again, but this time she didn't see him. Silly boy, I bet he climbed the gate. She ran to the back door. I sure hate to wake her up, but ooh, he's in for it now. He'll be grounded for a month, I bet. Then she felt her feelings of revenge turn to fear. Oh, wait, there's some reason he shouldn't go through that field. What is it? She quickly ran in the house, throwing open the door to her mother's room. She said, Queen Mother, Robert left the house and is going through the field. Her mother sat up and blinked. Sorry, Queen Mother, but you said to wake you if Robert went outside and he was kicking the gate when I was in my treehouse and then I didn't see him. He must have climbed the gate. Her mother rubbed her eyes. What? The field? Oh, no, that's where the big bull is. That bull is nasty. And if Robert tries to cross that pasture, oh. Pearl remembered Uncle Bert had talked about selling the bull at the end of October. He could be killed, Pearl said, and she started praying for him. Thank you, Father, that your angels always watch over him. I plead the blood of Jesus over him. Her mother grabbed the phone from the nightstand and hit speed dial. Oh, pick up Bert, she said. She left a message. He must have his phone off. I should have insisted that he sell that bull already. Of course, Robert should not have gone in there. She looked at her daughter and drew a deep breath. <sighs> Pearl, forgive me. I should have prayed even before I picked the phone up, just like I've taught you to do. But I've been praying, dear mother. Yes, and I'm very proud of you. Now let's sit on the couch and pray together. Remember, when we agree, According to the Word of God, it's done for us, right? Yes, ma'am. Amen, Pearl said. She felt a little better at her mother's calm strength. They sat on the couch and held hands. Dear Father God, prayed Pearl's mother, you're well able to keep Robert that we have committed to you. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. Thank you for the covenant of protection that Robert has as your child. But mother, Pearl interrupted, Robert has never said he believes, has he? Shh. We'll talk later, Pearl, said her mother, and hugged her, her, hugged her.